Hello and welcome to this guide. My name is Marcus. I'm co-founder of Gorilla Apps, an app vendor and marketplace partner on Money.com. Today I'm going to talk about our most recent app, Board to Website Widget, which lets you basically transform any Money.com board into a web-based widget that can be shared or embedded into an existing website. Let's take a quick look on the final result. Um, this is some inventory product catalog. It is a shareable version um, of the widget. It is searchable, so you can type in any kind of keyword and the items update in an instant. As I just mentioned before, you can also embed it seamlessly into a website. But now let's hop into Monday.com. I've prepared a quite simple board for this. Uh, we have some groups and some items here. Each item represents uh, a product. A product can have a status like back order in stock or sold out and some meta information as you can see here. Let's open the app. For the first time when you open the app, the widget itself has some default styles and some default settings and we will update them just in a minute. First, we want to exclude all products that are on back order or sold out. For that, we open the board filters and add a new rule. Select status, any of status only in stock, add in the prior, apply the rule. This takes a brief moment, now it's updated. Our board filters are pretty cool because you don't have to touch your actual board to filter out specific items. Okay, now let's adjust the look and feel of the widget. First, we're gonna switch to the grid layout mode, which updates here in the background. As you can see, the photos don't look too good. It ha they have the wrong format. Let's open the grid settings and switch the item image format from panorama to square, which updates here as well. If you are interested in each uh, setting and what it does, you can always click on the small question mark next to it and the documentation will pop up with some description. All right, now we want to adjust the content for each column. For that, we close the grid settings and open the column settings and hide a bunch of board columns. So we don't want to have the name, we don't want to have the group, last checked, photo, ale shelf distributor. Okay, looks much better now. Since the values uh, don't have a label attached to them, we will add them now. But for that, we just click on the small gear icon here and show the label, make it display inline. Now it's added. Let's fast forward and do the same for the other ones, like description, materials, colors, and last but not least for the PDF manual. Perfect. This looks good. Now for the final touch, we're going to adjust the colors, open the general settings, head over to the secondary color, click the small bucket icon, choose our color here. This looks good. I'm just going to copy paste this to the border color and the background color and it will update. So now that the widget is prepared, we can manually publish the widget by heading over here to publish widget, click it and publish. The publish process and the time it needs depends on the amount of files and board items you actually have in your Monday board. Now we're done, the widget has been published. Down here you will find the share link that can be copied by clicking this icon or if you want to embed it into your existing website, just go over here and click here. In addition to the manual publish process, you can also head over to your monday.com automation center. We have prepared a recipe that lets you update your widget automated um, on a weekly, daily or monthly basis. That's a wrap. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, just reach out to us. Thank you and bye-bye.